What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another player review, breakdown, anything you want to call it. We are taking a look today at the FC Bayern München club selection. As you can see here, we have got this one uh, that is now going to be, I think it's eight players. You've got eight chances of getting these players or three chances of getting these players. These are just a traditional club selection that they've added so they've been doing a lot of these i think these are really good players if you were definitely starting off you will want to get the Bayern players um they've got some really good selections here Kimmich one of the best players in the game utility wise Musiala Cancelo Sommer very strong very dependent and then you've got Mane De Ligt Muller and Pavard so I would say that Muller is probably the most difficult to play with as in you know he's not the fastest um you know not that speed and acceleration is everything but we're going to go through the players you guys let me know what training guides you want. Uh, we will do Kimmich and Musiala because they're probably two of the most important ones. But Mane is also a very interesting choice. And you've got the big high levels of Pavard to go as well, which are quite interesting with Cancelo. I mean, Cancelo is a beast as well. But these two are probably the picks of it. So we're just going to give a quick rundown of through everything. And uh, we will do training guides then on specific players as well. So I do like Pavard, lads, as a defensive full back. He doesn't have blocker. You will have to give him that. But he does have unwavering form. And on A rating this week, until Thursday, it is a no-brainer to get these players into your squad. If you have a couple of coins hanging around, um, as you can see there, we don't. But yeah, I definitely think these would be worth spinning if you do have a couple of coins hanging around. Even if you get the worst player on this, which was I would say would probably be Pavard or uh, Thomas Muller. I still think that these are, you know, some really good players that you could have. Now, there was a free version of Pavard before the French version. I'm just going to quickly show you him on the eFootball DB website. Um, this was him here. So the French version of this card that is compared to has got 27 levels. But you can see there that he's got worse uh, tackling and defensive awareness, but better balance and defensive engagement as well as ball control and dribbling, right? So he's 27 levels, but they're pretty identical cards. Um, the standard version is also going to be a lot worse, but he's got 31 cards, right? So I definitely think this is a really good version of him. If you missed out on this version of him here, the club uh, Byron Pack. Um, but yeah, he's a good player, man. He can definitely play as a center back as well. Uh, he goes to an 85 as a center back just with his base card. So that's what you really have to look at. And, you know, we will do training guides on him, but even roughly uh, speaking, if you're turning him into, um, you know, a defensive monster, you can very easily get those stats into the 90s apart from aggression. Aggression is probably one key stat that I would have uh, if I'm looking at a defender. So that's kind of the only weak point of this card. But, you know, pace, everything else is, is pretty decent. You've got acceleration, which is pretty decent for a right back if you are playing him in that role. Physically, he's very strong as well, so you don't really need to touch that too much. Uh, so I would say then it's just a case of probably boosting up his dribbling. You know, you're not going to be running the pitch and doing one-twos with this guy um, like you would with, with some of the classier right backs because he is a defensive right back. So if you're looking to shore up your uh, defense at the back, um, playing a four or at the back or whatever, then he definitely does do that role for you. So yeah, he's pretty decent. Um, he's got some good player skills. We also have Thomas Muller. Now Muller is a dummy runner, right? So he's got 22 levels to go. I always find with Muller lads that when I play against him, he really, really punishes me um, if I don't watch him. And it's it's more so, more so that the AI makes the runs. He nearly plays for, um, for you if you have him. You know what I mean? From what I found with dummy runners, and this is due to his high offensive awareness, as you can see there. But he also has track back, which means he'll be getting back and in around, you know, defending, you know, getting a bit around. He does have fairly OK stamina, but his speed is a concern, right? If you see here. So even if we boost up his um, dexterity to 10 points, uh, we're going to have 94 offensive awareness, but only 73 speed. So for me, that's kind of the big killer of this card is the balance and the offensive awareness. I mean, finishing wise and stuff like that, 86 is probably more than enough. Um, passing is good enough as an SS. We already had Del Piero. We did a player guide on him. So that kind of follows suit with that dribbling he's not the worst dribbler but you're not going to have the ball at his feet that often but the big thing for this guy is his stamina because of the track back you're going to probably want to sit him in the pocket and just dictate in that amf role um kind of ss role so he's not a bad player but you are going to be dependent on his ai uh movement a lot when you aren't controlling him that's where his real strength lies is his offensive awareness one of the highest ratings of an offensive awareness stat in the game of any player so yeah, and then you can see the differences here between the players. I mean, this this um, version of him is slightly better with the offensive awareness. So I think that version of him was slightly better 
uh, all together because he had 26 levels, but you could uh, boost up the offensive awareness very easily there. Next up, we have got the Licked. We will be doing a training guide on the Licked. You know what you're getting with this guy, lads. I think a lot of people sleep on him. I've slept on him for quite a while. I definitely will like to give him a go. I have multiple versions of him, so I definitely think it's time that I probably give him a you know a proper proper shake. Um, he's a build up, which means that he's able to play on the ball a little bit, but defensively, he has pretty much every single skill that you could possibly want. One touch pass, man marking, interception blocker, area superiority, aerial aero acrobatic clearance fighting spirit and captaincy and then on top of that he's got heading as well which is insane for a player this tall and this mobile because even though he doesn't have the most stats that you can use um he's only got 20 levels to go uh you can see here that over on eFootball db we do you know we are able to get him up into the 80s into the 90s very easily uh, all the stats are going to be into the 90s there apart from aggression which again as a build-up you don't need him to be you know that aggressive compared to destroyers you know uh, in the air he's really good as well just a couple into uh, physical contact there is going to get you that boost um, I would probably go to the 90 with the physical contact there um, that would be something that I would look at with this guy you know what you're going to be playing with this guy is that he's going to be your kind of stopper your in the air stopper and just being your real solid defender um, you know defensively then as well we're still going to be able to get 75 speed we're still going to be able to get 70 um, with acceleration and 79 stamina and then it's just pick your poison whether you want to get you know you could do the little trick where you get four extra into the to that I would probably go with that I would probably get three more into jump to bring that jump up to 88 and then I would probably just pump one more into dexterity and um, to, to, to level him out at um, 71 acceleration but that is a phenomenal card with those stats like absolutely insane but we will do a training guide on him not to worry on that we also have Manny. Manny's an interesting choice as well, lads. He's somebody that a lot of people don't use. He's got standard form, but he's got really nice stats. He's double touch, but doesn't have one touch pass. That's probably why a lot of people don't use him as a prolific winger. But I definitely will be giving this guy more of my time and attention, especially on my road to glory, if I do end up spinning him, right, Um, with those free coins. So the thing I like about him is, even though he's only got 23 levels, you don't need to boost up his actual, like, main stats that much, you know? Um, and when you do you get you get a hell of a player like because he's fairly well balanced right so the first one is that when you train up his dexterity you're going to get offensive awareness balance and acceleration all into the 90 zone with the player form boost and then on top of that with the dribbling you're also going to get the dribbling into the 90 uh, range with the boost by just going to eight you don't need to go into the nine or the ten with that which means that you get to save a lot of training uh, progression points for other stuff so from that then as well you know your speed at the base is really high with 88 speed go to 90 on that with 85 stamina that's one of the best wingers with the stamina that you that you'll get because he's able to track back all the Bayern Munich players that are very hard working and very aggressive you can see his aggression there is 73 so if you are using him as a left or right midfielder you could pump up that defense and get his aggression to 80 which will help out with defending and winning the ball back and cutting down you know a lot of attacks down the flanks if people are playing like that against you or else you can just double down on you know whatever you want to with this card i will do a training guide on him as well you can actually get you know about 80 finishing there um and still have room uh to develop out that acceleration you can max out his acceleration if you want to and go to 97 with it 92 offense awareness 93 balance that's probably what i would do i would probably go a mixture of that i would probably go 95 with the acceleration and then i would probably max out the dribbling to get that ball control and tight possession up and then of course you can also pop one into finishing to get the boost on that but i will do a training guide on him he's a very intriguing player that a lot of people still don't seem to work um sorry as i didn't have the page fixed over there um but there's a lot of people that don't really use him so i definitely would give him a good try um if you are looking for something different especially when he's on a rating right i will do a training guide on him summer as usual lads with summer the only thing that we look at when we've got a goalkeeper is low punt long throw which he has and he also has unwavering form which is huge but then on top of that he also has the stat that is most important in my opinion that has lasted through all the patches everything and that is the reflexes stat the goalkeeper reflexes right now he can go up very very easily to that um which is why i like this card a lot and i think i'll probably give him a little bit more of a more of a shot than i did um he can go up to like around 91 so we will cover him in a little bit more detail but he is a very solid keeper um as you would expect from him and then of course we do have Zhao Cancelo or Cancelo depending on uh what you want to call him but he's got unwavering he's got interception double touch he's really really solid he can play left back or right back which I love 
He also has unwavering form and he's on A rating this week as standard with this Bayern pack. Um, and he's definitely one of the top players in the game for me, lads. He's so aggressive when he is on the ball, even though his stats aren't, you know, the most aggressive compared to other players. Um, he's just super, super, super quick on the ball, super agile. He seems to be able to bring the ball forward really well. I know a lot of people use him just for his, his base speed. Um, but I definitely think he can play and launch attacks for you as well. So we will do a training guide on him, but that's just a, an average one. You're going to have speed, acceleration, stamina, all up into the high 90s or the low 80s. So I definitely recommend him. We will spend a bit more time on him in the training guide. Musiala, I know a lot of people were kind of disappointed and will be disappointed that he doesn't have a few more levels to go because previous versions of him were fairly high levels, um, including the MVP pack, which we see here. This was a similar car, but it had 30 levels to go, right? So I do still think that the MVP pack is better, but this card is, is still a good alternative um, to it because you've got obviously, my, you know, you've got like way better uh, tight possession and uh, a lot better speed and acceleration at your base, right? So even though you don't have as many cards to go uh, or as many um, stats to train, he's still an absolute monster, right? So apart from, you know, shooting, you know, you're going to be able to get your low pass, you're going to be getting all your dribbling stats and you're going to be able to get your acceleration and balance fairly high, fairly quickly. And I think that the rest of the card is just very easy to train up then as well. But we will do a training guide on him because of being a creative playmaker and not a whole player. It does change up how I would train him a little bit. And then last but not least, we have Kimmich, one of my favorite players. A lot of players have come and gone in my, in my squad, lads, but Kimmich always seems to find his way into my start in 11 for some reason. It doesn't matter that he's not a legend. It doesn't matter that I trained his version that I had a little bit worse than I probably should have. But this guy is a machine. He can play so many positions. He's got all the all the, the skills that you want. If you're playing him as a right back, he's, uh, he's fast, he's mobile. He's obviously not as fast as Cancelo. He's not like a rocket fast, but I definitely think he never gets caught out. And especially with the way defending is with the AI at the moment, you don't need to have a rapidly fast player, especially from a stats point of view. You can actually get away with just having a player that is like 80 in acceleration, 80 in speed, and be able to dominate wingers. You know, it doesn't, like unless somebody's coming up with a 99 accelerated winger, um, stat-wise, you know, you will be able to manage pretty much them all. But I think Kimmich's biggest role is probably um, in that central midfielder position because he's so defensive without having to train up much. Um, and he's so good on the ball. He's kind of like attacking wise, he's kind of like Verratti, where he's able to just zip in and zip out of passes and tackles. Um, but if you've got his aggression up fairly high, like if you've got his aggression at maybe 88, um, I think that's that's huge. And then obviously on top of that, the only thing you're lacking with that build is the speed, right? If you're playing him in a center midfield role, um, I would definitely up the speed a little bit and down the acceleration, just a, just a fraction. I, you don't have to go too mad on it. But 73 speed will be more than enough um, because it'll boost up to 75 if he's on a farm arrow. Um, but just be careful of that speed stat. That is what I would say to you. I mean, you've gone a bit overkill with the defending there, so you can always tweak that. But this card is just a couple of... Um, it's a pity that he only has 18 levels because if he had 22 or 23 levels, I think it'd be one of the best cards in the game. Like if you could pop on you know, maybe four or five more points to speed to get him up to 78 speed, this card would be an absolute monster. Um, so yeah, we will have a training guide on him. Lads, I will be streaming today for a little bit as well. So hope to see you in the chat. We'll have a fairly, fairly nice chill out redemption stream for, compared to like last week when we were playing on Thursday. It was a disaster. We were desperate. So we need to get better. But we will be back today. I hope you guys, hope you guys are able to make it and hope to see you in the chat. Until then, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. A lot of videos on my channel. And if there isn't a, a video that covers what you're asking, then get in touch in the live streams or else get in touch in the comments below. And I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.